Good morning. My name is Brenda Hugo, and I am the Children's Ministries Coordinator at St. Matthew. And today I've been asked to speak about Chosen for Joy. And it comes from uh, Psalm 51, a uh, psalm of David, that he uh, spoke to God after he knew he had committed a grievous sin had been pointed out to him by the prophet Nathan of um, having a man murdered so that he could have his wife Bathsheba as David's wife and and uh, it was a horrible sin and David repented of that sin and asked God to make his heart clean and one verse stands out in this chapter in its verse uh, Verse 12, restore to me the joy of your salvation. And that verse sticks with me. I like that word joy. It doesn't mean happy. It doesn't mean uh, being giddy and foolish, but it's it's something that's inside you. And I found this sweatshirt a while back. I don't know if you could see it says, uh, I choose joy. That doesn't mean that I'm happy all the time. That doesn't mean that I'm silly and giddy when something should be serious but uh, you know I can I can have joy because I know that in my sin and in my repentance Christ has already chosen to forgive me he loves me and I have that joy in his salvation knowing that the stuff on this earth it's it's temporary um, it, it hurts sometimes I have family members who have passed away I have family members who have health struggles and and that doesn't feel good and that doesn't make me happy but yet I can have joy in the salvation of my God that anything on this wor or world on this earth is is uh, like a drop in the bucket God's got eternity in mind for me and that gives me joy and pray with me please dear Heavenly Father thank you for the gift of your son Jesus Christ and the reason he came was because uh, he wanted me and you and us in heaven with him forever that he went to the cross to die for our sins so that all we need to do is look to him as our Savior and we know that we can have that joy in our hearts because of what Jesus Christ has done for us thank you Jesus Amen.